Hey everybody, this is Willie with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Basically, I haven't been playing this game that much. Because I've got to say, I've become more of an action junkie right now. But hey, let's go. Somebody actually requested this game, so... <laughs> I gotta do it. I gotta do it now. So let's go. We're gonna continue where we left off. And I pushed the wrong button. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. That time I did. <laughs> that time I did. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 532. Alright, there's probably been a little bit of cut editing. First off, let me say I tried to cut back some on the both volumes, the game volume and my microphone volume, to try and eliminate, you know, the sound that that happens when I talk. I think it's, I think the microphone is too, it's too sensitive. Alright. But yeah, so I'm playing with the sound a little bit, so if it sounds lower or if it sounds off, then that's this the reason behind easy. it. One other thing that I think I might have, um, I might have, like, edited two playthrough sessions together. Because basically what's happening is I'm getting my ass kicked by this Goliath boss. Like, I am getting, like, devastated. So, I looked on the internet, and some people were like, this dude's a tough motherfucker, like, I can't beat him. And then you get the people who are like, what, two hits? Like, all it took me was fucking two hits and I killed them. But then there are people like... Like... Legit people who are just like, dude, you gotta level up some. And you gotta fucking, you know... You gotta like... Strategize a little bit. And so I... That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to level up a little bit. So... Normally I'm not really a fan of grinding. Grinding is when you just, you just like straight level up to level up. You know, you're not on a quest to find any loot, you're not trying to progress in the game, you're just trying to build the levels and experience in order to build strength. Basically, it's like going to the gym, but for fucking, you know, a video game. Don't get careless. One game that I used to play that used to do it, you'd have to do it a lot, was Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo. And for that reason, I never, you know... I don't think I ever beat it. Leave it to me. That's one game I want to play and I want to beat. So I'll probably do that eventually. Alright, but anyways... We're done. To be honest, I could probably get, like, the best experience amount if I stayed in the cave and then just faced those enemies. Because those are the strongest enemies, because they're right before the boss. But, I like it out here more, because I'm closer to the... I'm closer to the, the inn, in case, you know, I do run into trouble. And I can... I can, um, chain these monsters, like, together, so that I'm not just fighting one group, but I'm fighting, like, a lot at once. So right there, I just got a two encounter link. Plus, I don't have to, like, re-enter, or leave and re-enter an area in order to respawn the enemies. So it's fucking... It's just easier. Granted, all I'm doing right now is button mashing and barely paying attention. You want? Speaking of which, dude that asked, dude that requested that I play more of it said that Carol's a <laughs> said that Rita's a lot better than Carol. So I'm gonna try it out and we'll see how good she is. So right now, we're gonna. I'm gonna switch the two of them out. So let's give it a shot. We finished them off. I finished them. 
However, I did hear that a lot of people don't like the dog. To be honest, the only one that I'm really like happy, happy with is Estelle. And that's purely because all she does is stand in the background and spam first aid. Dog's like, what a bitch. <laughs> and not one that I find attractive. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> I, is... cry of victory. I think we've established that the dog is a male dog, right? Yeah, I think it's been you I think the he pronoun is has been used in conjunction with him. Come on, all three of you together. Oh, I think I only got two. Sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen. All right. I just gotta remember Don't the buttons. Get in my way. <laughs> I got a little worked up. Let me try and make us a sandwich. Oh, oh. Oof. Oof. I just bombed on the Salisbury steak. <laughs> it's like you overcooked the meat. I feel like an easy win. Don't get cocky. Then again, we've all had that happen to us. Like, nothing is more, like, depressing than putting, like, toast in the toaster. And just being like, you know, fucking, this is too easy for me, I don't even have to pay attention. And then you come back like 30 seconds later and that shit's on like fire, and it's just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Smoke detectives blaring, and you just feel like a fucking tool. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. Let's, uh, let's punch the shit out of things. I got a little worked up. Rita's calm mind. Rita, you seem very used to fighting for someone who's been doing research in Ospio for so long. I'm just used to using magic, and I've been working to cultivate a calm mind. A calm mind, huh? Is there something wrong with that? Ooh, ouch! Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Uh, I'll startle you someday. You just wait. Come on, come on, B. Hey, ah, oh, I tried to run up to him and pull him back to the others. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because. In terms of the characters, though, I kind of like their personalities are really fleshed out well. And I'm not even that far into the game. Like, it's surprising. It... I don't know. Like, I feel like I already know. Don't let him trip you up. I already know. You know. I got a little worked up. I already feel like I know like what they would do given certain like you know situations that arise later in the game. So it's kind of interesting that they're fleshed out so well. Oh, 
Granted, I have gone through a lot of like those dialogue scenes with them, which are purely just you know there for me to get a to get a feeling of the characters. But they are you know interesting. Come on, come on here. fat bird. Oh oh, come on. Hey hey. Uh, let's just go for this thing. Hey hey hey. Punch the shit out of him. Oh, we're done. What was that? I don't know. Come on. Or they just vanish? Come on. There we go. There are too many. Wipe them out in one shot. I gotta try and keep up. Oh, damn. Alright, who's next? I don't know. I'm in I'm in eighties. I was born in the the early early to mid eighties. So I'm yeah, I know I'm old. Let's get this over with. <laughs> But yeah, so I um I judge how good role-playing games are based upon pretty much Chrono Trigger, Chrono Chrono, because that was like my favorite game growing up as a child. Or actually, it wasn't really. I kind of got it towards the end of the Super Nintendo run, so it wasn't really a game that like. The Super Nintendo like fledged like I was fledged out on video gaming for. Because by that point I had already like you know had the Super Nintendo for a while. So it wasn't like holy shit, this is what gaming is, as much as just like, yo, this is like this is how awesome gaming is. Or gaming can be. It's kind of hard to explain. Like I already at that point. I had already known that I liked to play video games, but, you know, the game showed me how great a role-playing game can be, and so that was really my start of role-playing games. Like this? Yay! What was that? I don't know. I'm sure people are like, yo, I don't give a fuck about who you are. You know, what your life is, I just want to play, uh, just want to see the game. And so, I mean, right now, I don't even know how much of this I'm going to leave in. Because I'm just grinding, like I said. But I don't know. I mean, I like the... I like the fact that the... The person got in contact with me in order to request something, and you know, I'd like to, I'd like to beat a game once I started. And this game is—it's not a bad game. It's interesting. You know, I'm just. Man, I was just getting warmed up. It's just sometimes when you commit to like a role-playing game, you don't realize that it is just like 40 to 50 hours. Oh man. But all yeah, right, I mean right. I'm I gotta work it back into the rotation more. from a thief. I am not. She um Rita reminds me her 
her character model reminds me of another character. I can't place it though. Not Two Face, although it, she, her character is like weirdly dressed in two different like ensembles that are split down the middle, kind of. Man, I was just getting warmed At least up. the lower portion, how she's got the two different socks. But I don't know. I mean, I hope the volume is not too high or too low. Alright, so one of the guy or one of the posts that I read on the internet said 17 or 18 on level is what, where you should be at. So I mean I'm fucking oh, let's try and cook again. Oh can't do sal oh nope. Don't have enough for fucking Salisbury or the sandwich. So yeah, so 17 or 18, so we're still on like 16, 15. No, we're all 16s now. So. Let's keep at it. Let's get this over with. I know, I remember playing. I remember playing Saga Frontier on the PlayStation when I was younger. And I remember, the reason I bring it up is because I remember playing as one of the characters. It was the first part. And so you pretty much, they start, if I remember correctly, you started off in like this dungeon. And then you basically had to like, free yourself by fighting this like, boss of the dungeon. It might have been a castle even. But basically to like, free yourself and to start your journey, you had to, you had to, um, you had to beat this like, boss. And I just remember the boss being so much harder than the the enemies. I remember it being like so the boss being so difficult that it was like this big thing. How like how much harder? Like even like reviews were bringing it up. They were like the differences between the boss strength and like the enemy strength is so preposterous that you have to grind for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and so I didn't play. I didn't play past the first boss, which I should have, you know, to give the game to give the game a fair chance. But I was young then and I wanted like I wanted my rewards a lot quicker. I gotta try and keep up. We finished them off. You know, so I wanted I'm not I wasn't as patient as I am now. So maybe if I can even get my hands on that game now, I'll give it a shot. It seemed kind of interesting. I remember there being like seven characters with quests, with quests that you could pick from. But I don't Come on. Guess we can do this. I don't know why, but these big things remind me of Buffalo. Oh, man. We can still overcome this. 
punch the shit out of you from behind. You want revenge? Bring it. What a pain! They're everywhere. We'll crush them all. Hopefully this doesn't become a regular thing that I have to do before every big boss. We finish them off. This to me just seems like kind of a shitty filler for a game. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather the game like progress me naturally than just throw like a fucking a super hard boss that I can't beat unless I, you know, grind for a while into the mix. Alright, I'm gonna punch the shit out of you now. There you I go. Was just getting warmed up. Oh, even though he's, he can fly, he's still trapped up there? Could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. That was annoying. This looks easy. Don't get careless. Cry of victory. Oh, oh, two of them. Nice. Let me get them both together. Hey buddy, those fucking plant elephant thingies are still kind of difficult. You want revenge? Bring it. Oh, oh, link them together. Come on, buddy. Ah. I feel like an easy win. Don't get cocky. It's not about how many you get. This is coming from a thief. I am not. Experience is 29. Is this something? You can find items at various search points located throughout the world. Search points are restored. After some time, so check back from time to time. Some search points will only appear after certain conditions have been fulfilled. You can find different items from the same search point. Try looking for them at various places. Alright, let 
me be through. Oh, oh. I'm gonna re-enter the cave area. I'm not gonna fight the boss. But I'm gonna try and face some other enemies. You want revenge? Bring it! I gotta get down a level? Although, come on, let's... Oh, did I only get one? I was hoping to jump all three together. Next week. Shit, can I not get through here? I didn't see those fucking blocks. What a pain! They're everywhere! We'll crush them all! I gotta say, the graphics in this game are really good. I like the, um... I like the shading in it of everything. It's very, you know, animated looking. The animations, like, they're very... Coming from a guy who played a lot of Final Fantasy VII, like, these animations look great. Obviously, Final Fantasy VII is, like, two generations behind this game. But I mean, just, like, I, I was used to those graphics. And now that I see these, it's just like, wow. Very, the game is very fluid, you know, I'm not noticing many dips, if any, in like frame rate or anything like that. Let's go back in. Oh wait, this is the wrong. Do I want to sleep at the end? How's my health? Uh, yeah, I'll sleep at the end. Just uh, fully replenish them. MP. TP, or I believe they call in this game. Plus, if I. Do I have to pay to sleep on the bookshelf here? Wait. I think I talked to everybody here, right? 
At Ruins Gate, we specialize in excavation of ruins. It may seem humble, but we take pride in our work. Our chief is very warm and even treats underlings like us with kindness. He really is the model of a perfect guild chief. That's the way a leader should be. The only flaw you might mention is the fact that he's somewhat cowardly. Oh yeah, I've, I've um... I remember them saying that. On the bookshelf. Would you like a rest? So wait, they're charging me to sleep at a book on a bookshelf? Oh. Oopsies, put it right there for a second. I hit wrong button. Fuck, dude. There we go. I have to remember in this button, it's... No, in this... In this game, it's actually the button that Resident Evil 4 uses for cancel. So... <laughs> I have a tendency now, since I'm more used to that game, to push the cancel button just like off habit. It's the, in case anybody's wondering, it's the A button, which I mapped to mean cancel in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> 